Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I hope you'll stick around to see our homeschool journey. My name is Jamie and I'm a homeschool mama of three boys. They are seven, six, and 16 months old. I'm a former public school educator who taught grades kindergarten, second, and third before I decided to stay home and homeschool my guys. In today's video, I wanna share with you our tot school for the upcoming week and our tot school for this week is gonna be ocean theme. So I'm just gonna sit here and go through some of the different things that I'll be using this week with my 16 month old son. One of the activities that we're gonna be doing is this puzzle. These puzzles are great because they are big knob and it's just a small little puzzle for him to do and it's by Melissa and Doug. Some of the other puzzles that I also have out for him to play with is this magnetic puzzle. Um, I have a little magnetic fishing rod and I'll just use it and he can take out the pieces. And I actually have two of these and he can go fishing. And I also will use this one. It has the little knobs too. It is a little bit harder, but I will play with him with this puzzle. So those are some puzzle choices that he has for the week. And we'll do that if we have time or if he feels like doing it um, those days. They're kind of extra. So for what I do each day is I read a book. We do an indoor activity, an outdoor activity, and then we have a snack. And then I have some other things like the puzzles that I pull out just in case. So what I'm going to do is just kind of walk you through each day. So on Monday, our book is called The Very Fidgety Fish. <clears throat> and this is my first storybook. It's just a little book and I'll... Sometimes we'll read the book, sometimes me and him will just look at the pictures and talk about the animals and things that he sees, the colors that he sees. It just depends on his mood for that day. <laughs> Our activity for that day is paint a fish, food color, and water. And I actually found this book that was actually just paint with water. So I'm going to use it instead. And I'll give him a little cup of water and a little paintbrush and he can just paint the picture with water. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. For our outdoor activity that day, it is pool play. So we'll play either in our big pool or in the kiddie pool. And it says, what's well, our sponge fish and our pool noodles and our actual fish toys. Or ocean, I should say ocean toys. So I have these little fish that we cut out. And he'll play with those. And I have some actual like dolphins and whales and sharks that are actually outside right now in the pool. So it's just some pool play with some of our toys. And that snack is a peanut butter fish. And the way that I'm doing that is um, I'm just cutting a piece of like bread to be the shape of a fish. And then I'm putting peanut butter on it as peanut butter toast. Okay. On Tuesday, we're reading Goodnight Ocean. And if you watched my um, first week of Tot School, I had Goodnight USA. I really like those books. There's a lot in the series. And our indoor activity is a contact paper whale. So I'll just take this off and it makes it sticky. And then he can just stick different things to the whale, like tissue paper, construction paper, buttons, pom-poms, whatever he wants to stick to his whale to make his whale art. And then that afternoon or later that day, our sensory for that day, is frozen shaving cream. So I already have the shaving cream in here. I actually dyed it so it's blue and then I'm going to stick this in the freezer and freeze it and then what I'll do is I'll put some ocean animals in here and he can play with his ocean animals in his frozen shaving cream and we'll do this outside it's our outdoor activity and then our snack for that day is under the sea graham cracker and all that is it's, it's a graham cracker with um, another graham cracker crumbled up over it to make the sand and then I took some blue um, with some cool whip and turned it blue and I put the cool whip on there and I might put a few goldfish on there. For our Wednesday is by the seashore. And this is a touch and feel book. So it has different little things that they can touch each day. Each, I mean, each page, it has to, it's a touch and feel. And it's a fold out book. So I'll read this on Wednesday. Our sensory activity that day is our beach and sea squish bag. So I have beach sand in here and it's actually from the beach. And then I have blue hair gel and then I have some seashells in here that he can squish around. So this is his beach squish bag. And then our outdoor is ocean animal sand play. So that same sand from the beach, it's just in a little container. And I'll take this outside and I'll get the ocean animals and he can play with it. 
And I'll actually probably, because I have two more bags of this, I'll probably pour about this much into the sand table and let him just play in the sand table with it. And then our snack that day is beach pudding cups. No. So this is our beach um, pudding cups, jello cups. I actually got this at Aldi's. I think I've seen it at Walmart. And it's just a little kit. It comes with everything you need except for the cups. We use little plastic cups too. And this will be their activity for, I mean the snack for that day and an activity because they're going to help me make it. And this will be for all three of my kids, not just my toddler. This thing in the ocean. I love this book. I think it is so cute. So we'll read this, and then our activity that's inside that day will be the ocean felt board. So I have my felt board, and I have these little ocean pieces, and these actually came from the Target dollar spot. And then our outdoor activity that day is I'm going to take a big tub and I'm going to fill it full of ocean soap foam. I'll probably use the water table actually and fill it up with ocean soap foam, which is just baby soap and water blended in your blender to make it real foamy. And then you just pour it into the water table. Our snack for that day is boat snacks, which is a piece of apple cut out with a stick in it. And then you put a piece of cheese on the stick to be like a little sailboat. And then, of course, I'll monitor him with the stick, but it's just a little boat snack. And then Friday, our book is One, Two, Three, In the Sea is our book. And this is just a cute little book with little flips. So we'll read this on Friday, and then that evening we are going to play with Inside Activity is my blue bin from last week which has got noodles and pom-poms and all kinds of stuff in it and then I just put some sea animals in there for him and I'll get him some cups and things and then the afternoon activity for outside is frozen ocean sea animals and what I'll do again is I will take a big thing of ice and I'll pour it into his water table with all of his animals and he can play with the ice and the water and he can play with his little animals our snack is a sun-shaped snack, so I'll take a circle cracker and I'll put cheese and strawberries around the cracker and make it look like the sun. And that's all of our activities. I do have some extra books and some extra things planned that I'll show you now. So this right here is little clingies that you can put on a window or a pan. We're going to use like a pizza pan and let him play with the clingies. And it is just all ocean animals and then they're reusable. So I'll stick them back in here. Some of the other books I have for him is Sea Life Colors, Eric Carl Under the Sea, Seashore Baby. This is like a little lift of flap. Seymour the Sea Turtle. I Spy in the Ocean. And then the little blue boat, which I've showed you this book before because it was our book that we used in the blue for the week of blue too. So these are just some different little books he can look at and I'll keep them out in the area where I keep all of his little tot stuff. That way he can look at books throughout the week. I also want to get my big kids back into a, a routine because um, we're going to be starting school soon. And I just want to get them back into a routine where they sit down and do something academic every day. So I also got them some activities that are themed so that they can do the ocean theme, but it's more older activities. And I'm actually going to show you some of those in the same video, just in case you're watching this and have older kids and want to pull them in to do some type of learning with your talk. So for my two older boys, they are seven and six. I do want to get them back in the routine of sitting down and doing something educational. So for a short period of time every day, I will pull them and we'll do ocean for this week just to get them back in the routine of school because we've been out for summer. So I'm going to just show you some of the different activities I pulled for them. So that way it's just getting them back in the routine. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is some little activities that I pulled. So I actually bought this activity at Aldi. 
um, last week when I went grocery shopping, and it's tanagrams. And it comes with a little tanagram pieces. So I put this in a little bin, and it's over there on, on a little shelf where I keep all their bins where they can pull activities to do. And I pulled out all the beach ones. And then I also pulled out all the little cards that were beach that says t-shirt, but on this side it says eel. Um, angelfish. Whale. Starfish. Swordfish. So I did pull out all of these too so that they could do these activities. So this will be one thing that they can choose to do. I also pulled out a drawing book that I have. It's called You Can Draw Animals. And I'm going to just tell them to pick out the animals that have to do with like the ocean. Fish. And I just put it in a bin with some drawing paper. And that's one activity they can do. Another activity that they can do is I have this giant floor puzzle that's Melissa and Doug and they can make this. I bought this matching game at the Target Dollar Spot and it is a memory game but it's a felt memory game and it's ocean themed. So I thought the bigger kids might would like that. And then I just pull out a big selection of books that they can look at. So I have Usborne 1001 Pirate Things to Spot and this is like a search and find book. The Great Animal Search, which is again a search and find book, and I'll just um, I'll put a sticky note in here so that they can just stay on the ocean ones. So I'll put a sticky up here so they'll know to do that page. And then there's also a page back here that they can look at and do. I have the Big Book of Animals, which we will look at, and we will just talk about our animals that are ocean and they can look at this book this is also an Osborne book some more books that I pulled out were Magic School Bus and we will also watch some of the Magic School Bus episodes but I pulled out some of these books to read with them that all had to do with the ocean and then I also and I'll try to remember to leave a link down below I printed out from cornerstoneconfessions.com. If I can go back and find it, I pulled this out about two or three years ago. They had different activities, science activities, that go with each television show and each book. So I just went ahead and pulled that, and then if we have time or we feel like it, we can do those science experiments that have to do with the ocean through her um, document that I printed out. Some other things that I also added in to my big boys in case they wanted to do it, depending, it really depends how much time they have during the week. Um, cause I'll just put like, uh, like I said, just want to get them back in the routine. They each have a book. Um, this is a magic painting book. They each have one. This one's jungle, so I doubt it's going to have any ocean. We'll see if this one has ocean. So this is what I'll do is I'll go through here and I'll look and see if it has any ocean. And if it has ocean, I'll pull them out an ocean one to do. And I'll pull them both of the ocean photos out. And then I will let them do the ocean. And then I also have the complete book of science. I'll pull it and I will just do some of the activities with them that have to do with the ocean. So I can pull this out and make a copy in case they want to do it. Here's a whale game that I could do. So like in the sea. And it's a little craft that they can make. So sometimes what we like to do is we just like to make the different little crafts that they have in this book. This one is a fun with food chain. This one is life in the sea. So we also might pull and do those activities. And of course I am huge into literacy and literacy is so important to me that I always have a huge bin of books for them to go through. So I put out all of my ocean books and I'll kind of just show you those real quick. So the amount of books that you're about to see is just crazy. I have so many books. So I'm just going to show you the books and then I put them in bins and then I just keep the bins out so the kids have fresh books to look for for that week. So I have the Angelfish, a pull and lift book. So it has like little things that you can do on each page. I 
have the three little fish and the big shark. Bad shark. I have the Sharkopedia, which is just full of sharks. My oldest is going to love this. He, he is so into information. I have Under the Sea pop-up book. The Guide to the Oceans. The Magic School Bus on the Ocean Floor. Look who lives look who lives in the ocean. And this one I actually checked out of our local library. I have the incredible sea creatures, sharks, <clears throat> and truth or lie sharks. I did just pull out this book, it's just called Summer Wonders because it's about a little boy who goes to the beach. I have Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Whale. Sea life. Whales. Oh, I love this book. I've had this book a long time, but it has like little things on it. Like, I don't know. I just think that book is so cute. I have Dolphin's First Day. One Tiny Turtle. What is it like to be a fish? Shark Bites. Whales the Gentle Giant. The Journey of a Humpback Whale. Sharks. The Great White Sharks, Sharks Mini Encyclopedia, Shark Frenzy, Manatees, Weird Sea Creatures, Oceans Alive. This book is really cool too because it has fold outs that fold out really far. Whales and Dolphins, Mako Sharks, Ocean Explorers. I have oceans, dippy dolphins, seashore babies, seashells, crabs, and sea stars. This one is an Usborne book um, and it's internet link so I can go on here and I can pull up things from the computer on this one. I really like those internet link ones. But it's sharks, whales, and dolphins. Sharks and the most terrifying underwater creatures ever are the most. And this one has like a, lots of different little bats. First big book of ocean. Nature hide and seek ocean. Close up dolphins. Sea turtles. Underwater water creatures. Coral reefs. Amazing whales. Sharks. Tammy the turtle. Believe it or not, amazing facts. No Amazing Escapes, and there's some in there about sharks, so this book is not all sharks, it's all kinds of different escapes, so I'll just tab the pages that they can, um, that I'll read to them. Over in the Ocean, Prowling the Seas, Dolphins, Sea Turtles, Sharks, this is a board book called Fish, and I'll probably put this in my toddler's bin. And then the last one is Sea Under the Sea, and this is an Usborne book as well. And then it has little um, tabs. It's a new book, so the tabs haven't been opened yet. It has little tabs for you to open. So I'm an Usborne consultant, so I get a lot of books from Usborne Books and more, and I will leave my link down below, or you can contact me if you're interested in any of the books. But I get a lot of my Osborne books for free, so I really enjoy them and I or discounted. And if you'd like to know how I do that or more about that, you can, like I said, contact me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe channel to see more homeschool videos. Thank you.